Chapter 3 Logical Reasoning Statements So in this lesson you are going to learn what is converse, inverse and contrapositive of an implication. So this is an implication if P then Q. Okay. So how to make a converse? Okay. Converse mean you uh, make Q at the front, then P at the back. So if Q, then P. So for inverse, you need to inverse this. Okay, you add a tilde in front of it. So if not P, then not Q. Okay, for contrapositive, you reverse this. Okay, so if not Q, then not P. Okay, so let's see the example. So P statement is X is a negative number. And Q statement is X is less than zero. So this implication says that if X is a negative number, okay, so X is negative, huh? If X is negative, then X is less than zero. Okay, that means, for example, negative one, negative two, negative three, right? So X is less than zero if X is negative. Okay, so if you want to make a converse statement, okay, you need to reverse this, okay? If Q, then B. So if X is less than zero, then X is a negative number. Okay, for inverse, you need to add a not to make it a tilde, tilde. Okay, so if X is not a negative number, then x is not less than zero. You see the difference is you have a not here. Okay. You have uh, you have already negate the P and negates the Q. Okay. By using the word not. And then for contrapositive, you need to reverse this. Okay. You reverse this too. So if x is not less than zero, then x is not a negative number. Okay, so if x is higher than zero, then x is a positive number. That's that's the meaning, right? Okay, so you can try to do this question. If x is two, then x cube equals eight. Okay, you try to make a converse statement and an inverse and then contrapositive. Okay, so that's the lesson for today. Okay, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And you may also go check out the Facebook page and blog for, for more learning materials. And thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.